Right, it's Captain Mike with you again. Um, thought I'd make another short video. Uh, I had everything prepared and uh, I thought I'd kind of show you uh, different types of glass paint. Um, by that I mean this is glass that actually, I mean excuse me, paint that actually fuses to the glass. And I did a bunch of samples with different types of uh, glass paint, if you will. I can't think of a better name to call it. Uh, but I did all these different samples to see how they came out. And what I was looking for in this is uh, how well it adhered to the glass uh, and was it shiny? And actually, what would it really stick to? And the two things that I used were ceramic tile because I plan to do some stuff with some ceramic tile. And this is a piece of porcelain ceramic tile, but it doesn't really matter. It's just glazed on the top. Uh, and I want to see what would stick to that. And I used some pieces of plate glass. If it'll stick to plate glass, it'll stick to anything. Now, every one of these, as far as I know, says they will stick to 96, 90, and float glass. Uh, and so far, what little I have done with them, that has proved to be correct. But let me just get in and show you what each one done. Each one is from a different company. And uh, we'll start with actually the one that I like dislike the most. And I'm not going to knock this product. I only have one color and I do not know why it has done what it has done, but it is a uh, designer liner from Mako. Now, I do know that this, uh, every time I have used this particular color, which is red, it has come out, it has come out matte, looking pink more than red. Uh, it's just food safe, non-toxic, non-hazardous, made in the USA, which is okay. And, uh, you know, it, it just it doesn't say anything about what surface finish it's going to have. It tells you what to fire it at. So I fired all these at a uh, uh, pretty much a full fuse temperature. And as you can see on this one right here, it's stuck to the glass. I have not tried to get it off yet. I will in just a minute. But it's stuck to the float glass, and it did not stick to the tile at all. I mean, it just came right off. So, Mako, as far as tile goes, and this bottle, your, you, your mileage may vary. Please don't think that all of it's going to be that way. That's just my test. On the glass, let's see. Yep, it came right off the glass. Now, it could be any number of things. It could be, I've had this a year or so. It could be that it's got old. Uh, I shook it very well and put it on, but I won't buy any more of this, but... Please feel free to, to try it if you'd like it. If you're a Mako fan, go for it. Uh, I have some great glazes by Mako. Uh, that liner is not one of them. The next one that I have used a fair amount of is the uh, Delphi's uh, enamel pins, what they call them. And it's because they come with uh, uh, a nice little end cap right here. And there you can also get a little metal piece that slides under it. It makes it even finer. Uh, again, you'll shake it up. But what it did... Uh, was came out very well. Again, this is the Delphi, and those are the colors I have. I have four colors of it, and it did exceptionally well, uh, perfect, in fact, on the tile. It's stuck on it. As you see, I can't even get that little scrap off. It's, it's there. So if you wanted to enamel tile or something with that, then the Delphi would definitely work. On the glass, it Actually, you can hardly feel it on there. It flattened right on out. It did a just an absolutely wonderful job. It is designed for glass, so you would expect it to work a little bit better. But it did work on tile. It's a little raised, but it worked great. So the Delphi is definitely a go. Now, all I have on Spectrum is this black. Uh, and it tells you that it can be used on glass, ceramic, and metal. Okay, so I had used it previously to outline some things on uh, glass, and it had worked. 
I went ahead and just put some to include it on my test here. Again, it's very shiny. On float glass, it just flattened out very nice. Still a little raised on porcelain uh, tile, but it's there and it's shiny. So the, the spectrum colors probably would work very good for any application that you had. Uh, the next one is uh, Glass Line, and this is a well-known product. This is pink, uh, and uh, it, it says particularly that it is for glass, uh, but I have three colors of it, and I put it on the float glass and on the tile, and for some reason, the, the, of course the paint comes out flat. I do not know why. Uh, it doesn't say that it's going to be flat, and that kind of bothers me because I like from a lot of my stuff to be glossy, unless otherwise. Uh, but the pink came out flat. The uh, red that I have, uh, or brown, whatever that is, it's brown, I think. It come out glossy, and it stuck very well, but it kind of made a weird pattern on it, as did the white. It did not just perfectly smooth out on the tile. Same on the glass. It did a little better. It flattened out on the glass, but the texture on it was not solid. Uh, I can see where you could probably use that technique or that, that particular pattern for something really artistic, but that's not what I was after. It, it did work, though. It did work. They both stuck. So the glass line is a go. You just have to experiment maybe with temperatures to see if you could get it to smooth out and cover like you would like it to. Now, the last one that I have is a little different in that you have to mix it. And this is uh, some colors from uh, Unique Glass Colors. And this can, comes in a kit. Uh, all kinds of colors and then you, of course you can order what you need to replace the colors after you order the kit or before you order the kit uh, from them from Glassline uh, and it comes in powder form it's like that and this is what's unique about it this is some kind of a medium I'm not so exactly what it is but you can use water too uh, if you you know I like this because of the consistency of it it's uh, not quite as thick as, as aloe gel, but it's 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 thin enough that you can you can mix it well. Uh, but they say you clean your brushes with water and you can add water to it. And all you do on that is uh, take just a little bit of their color. See, you just mix up what you need. And the great thing about this is, it if you have to go back and mix a little more and add it, the best I can tell, it does not change the intensity of the color. It just, you just may thin it or thick it, make it thick, <laughs> thick it. Uh, make it as thin or as thick as you like. But you take and you add just a drop or two of their medium to it, uh, whatever you, you have to kind of learn to do that to see how you, how you like it. And you take you a paintbrush and you mix it. And then you, uh, can paint with it. Now this is not a paint and I won't really get into a whole lot of, of the unique properties of this particular colorant. I'm going to do a video on it because I think it is very unique and you know how you use it. But if you want it thinner, you can just, you know, you can make it thin or you can make it thicker. It'll be opaque or it'll be transparent. But that's it. And you know, you only mix up what you need. and. I did that here on the color, on just, I have, I don't know, a bunch of these colors. I mean, there's a rainbow of it. And uh, as you can see, some of it is on the glass, is on, is transparent. If I don't want it thicker, I'd have just put more on it. But it's perfectly flat. I mean, it's the flattest of the bunch. It here, 110%. On the tiles, it did ex the same thing. It, I mean, absolutely great. So. That is the unique glass colors from unique uh, um, glass company, I guess. Um, yeah, unique glass colors. That's the name of the company. Uh, and of course, I'll put all of these companies in their uh, their websites down below, so you can go to them and and you can check them all out. Because I definitely want you to check them all out. Now, the last thing I've got to do is show you some experiments with tiles and. One other little surprise thing, uh, and then we'll wrap this video up. Uh, 
like I said, I'm going to do some work with some tiles, and I didn't know exactly what I could do with tile. I have a lot of it. Uh, whenever I do tile work at my house or for someone else, then I have a lot of tile left over. So I took these pieces of tile, and I piled a bunch of CO, well, actually, it's not COE96. This is bottle glass frit, just bottle glass frit. It stuck wonderfully. You wouldn't have thought that it would. It has not cracked off at all. It's been sitting that way for over a week. It does It does retain some texture on it. Uh, it you know, it didn't flatten out like the COE90. This is some COE90 red frit. And as you can see, it flattened right on out. And each of the little pieces that kind of scattered out when I put it on the tile just turned into little circles and adhered to the tile. So you can put glass on tile and it'll work. Now. I took it a step further uh, because I thought, well, maybe I might want to decorate some tiles with something that I cut out on my uh, uh, saw. So I took a piece of COE 96 glass and just laid it on top of the tile. Now it did adhere and it did not crack. Uh, at least within the last week or so, it has not cracked. I might could get it off. I haven't tried really hard, but it is stuck on there good. So, you know, and I heat it again. That did, probably didn't heat it. May I heat it enough? I don't know. Uh, full fuse for glass. Uh, but it's stuck. So there's a possibility with COE 96. COE 90 did the same thing. It did not crack. This surprised me because if you mix COE 96 and 90 and bottled glass, you're going to have cracks all over the place. None of them are going to, they're not going to adhere to each other and cool and stay solid. They're going to crack. They did not crack with the tiles. So that was a big surprise. Now, to wind this thing up, I know all of y'all probably have a spindle grinder, the little diamond grinder that you grind all the glass, your glass with. If you don't, when you can get one, get one. But every once in a while, you're going to have to clean it out. And then the bottom is all of this glass dust. And I asked somebody one time, one of my glass suppliers, had they fooled with it? They said, well, yeah, they had, but they didn't have any result, any luck with it. And so I said, okay. Now, mind you, this is it's chalky looking, but it is every color in the rainbow. I mean, I, all the glass that I've ground goes to the bottom of the grinder, and then when I, it needs to be cleaned, I clean it. Well, I had to put it on a piece of float glass, and I had to put a piece just like I was doing a, 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 a pendant. And this is what you get. Now, normally you all the colors mixed together comes out brown if you're mixing paint. But this come out kind of a green. This is what it looks like. It did it here, and it's got little color specks in it as you'd expect from some of the larger pieces that came off the grinder. But just in case you say, well, I want to save everything. I don't want to throw it away, and I want to recycle that glass. That's what you can expect. You can expect it to be kind of a greenish grayish color. You may can use it, you may not. Now, that's it. That's all I've got for you guys. Uh, now, this is by no means comprehensive. This is just the stuff I have in my shop. The stuff that I have experimented with because that's what I would use if I put it on uh, some ceramics or some glass and refired it for whatever purpose that I had in mind. Uh, and I hope it's been very clear and I hope that it has kind of helped you out just a little bit. Again, this is the colors that you would fire on glass. There are other colors. Uh, I mentioned them in another video and uh, I'll even do a video on that at some particular point, another separate video on using these colors that dry and then you put them in the oven, fire them to 350 degrees and they're dishwasher safe. Uh, but they don't react exactly like glass uh, paints that are formulated to be fired uh, up to uh, full melt temperature. So I hope that helps you a little bit. Uh, if you have suggestions or something that you have experimented with or something that you'd like to see me do pertaining to this or any other subject, uh, send me a comment and let me know and we'll do our best to cover it for you. Okay, I'm Captain Mike, and that is my video, uh, I won't say for today, but this is my video for right now, and I appreciate it. Thank you.